Okay guys, I welcome you all to my channel Engineers Academy. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem from Hebler Dynamics. The problem says that the acceleration of a particle along a straight line is defined by this a as a function of time where t is in second at t equals to 0 s equals to 1 meters and v equals to 10 meters per second when t equals to 9 seconds determine the particle's position the total distance traveled and the velocity so now we are given that the acceleration is given as a function of time which is equal to 2 t minus 9 and this is in meter per second square so we are required to determine the particle position the total distance traveled and the velocity so we need to have the velocity as a function of time to find the velocity and we need to have the position as a function of time so now since we know that uh, the acceleration is always equal to dv by dt and this is equal to 2t minus 9 and if i multiply dt by both sides of the equation so we will have dv equals to 2t minus 9 into dt so we will have the equation like this and now to find v as a function of time we have to integrate we have to integrate both sides of the equation so then uh, we have to integrate this from t equals to 0 until equals until t equals to t so from 0 to t we have to integrate this and now in the problem statement it is that it is said that when t equals to 0 velocity is equal to 10 meters per second so now when this t is equal to 0 uh, when this t equals to 0 we have v equals to 10 so this is from 10 to v so now if i integrate this so if we integrate this so this will cancel out and we will have v we will have v from 10 to v and then the integration of this will be uh, this will be 2 t square divided by 2 minus 9 t and this will be from 0 to t and now if i put these limits if i if i put these limits so this will be v minus 10 so you will have v minus 10 and this will cancel out so we will be left with t square minus 9t and if we put these limits so we will be left with t square minus 9t minus 0 so we will be left with this equation and now from this we can write that the velocity will be equal to t square minus 9t plus 10 now while finding the total distance traveled remember that uh, we we need to have the uh, t values for which the velocity uh, will be equals to zero since that is important so if we know the time at which the velocity equals to zero so we know the point at which the particle will reverse its direction so that is very important we have to find t values for which the velocity will be equals to zero so now how we can find it we have to equate the velocity equation equals to zero so now we can write that velocity is equal to t square minus 90 plus 10 this will be equal to zero if you want to find t values for which the velocity equals to zero so we have to equate this equation equals to zero so now from this this is a quadratic equation this is a quadratic equation and we have to find its solution so it will have two roots so we can find it by using calculator so by using calculator we can convert the mode of the calculator to quadratic equation and now the coefficient of t square is 1 the coefficient of t is minus 9 and the constant c is 10 so this gives us t1 value t1 is equal to 1.2 nine eight second so at t1 equals to 1.298 seconds the velocity will be equal to zero and the second root is we can write that t2 is equal to seven point seven point seven seven zero two seconds so now at t, uh, t1 equals to 1.298 and t2 equals to seven point seven zero two 
these two times corresponds to velocity equals to zero. Now to find to find the particle position, to find the particle position, we need to have the velocity, uh, the position as a function of time. So now, as we know that uh, this velocity, this velocity is equal to ds by dt. So this will be equal to t square minus 90 plus 10. And if we multiply both sides of equation by dt, so we will have the equation like this and dt will cancel out from this left hand side. And to find s as a function of time, again we have to integrate both sides of equation. So now if we integrate this from 0 to t, so when t equals to 0, when, when t equals to 0, s is equal to 1 meters, right? So we have to integrate this from 1 to s. So this will be from 1 to s. So now if we integrate this, so this will cancel out, d will cancel out the integration and we will be left with s minus 1 if we put those limits. And then the integration of this will be t raised to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 9 t squared divided by 2 plus 10 t. And this is from 0 to t. And now this will be s minus 1. And if we put these limits, if we put these limits from 0 to t, this will be t to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 9 divided by 2 t square plus 10 t and if we put 0 uh, in place of t the lower limit so everything will become 0 so we will be left with this equation and if I bring this minus 1 to the other side of equation so it will become positive so we will have the equation like this so this will be plus 1 on the other side so this is s as a function of time now in the problem statement we said that uh, determine the particle position when t equals to 9 seconds. So, so this is, if I put t equals to 9 in this equation, we will get the particle position when t equals to 9 seconds. So, let's say that position at t equals to 9 seconds is s9, let's say. So, that will be 9 to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 9 divided by 2, 3 square plus 10 into 10. In, this is, this is 9 square, remember, and this is 9 and plus 1. So now we can find this, this will be, we have to convert the mode, so that is 9 to the power 3 divided by 3 minus uh, 9 into 9 square divided by 2 plus 10 into 9 is 90 plus 1, so this is equal to minus the S9 is equal to minus 30.5 meters. So the minus sign tells us that the particle is at a distance of 30.5 meters in the negative direction from the defined reference point. So S9 is minus 30.5 meters. Now in, in part B it is said that the total distance traveled and in part C we have to find the velocity. So now we have the velocity equation this is my velocity equation this is my velocity equation we can find the velocity when t equals to 9 second so let me find the velocity so velocity at 9 seconds will be equal to if i put t equals to 9 in this equation so this will be 9 square minus 9 into 9 plus 10 so 9 square is 9 square is 81 minus eight, 9 into 9 is again 81 and plus 10. So this gives us 10. So V9, the velocity at t equals to 9 second is 10 meter per second. So this is V9. So this is the solution of part C. This is part C solution. Now the solution of part B is we have to find S equals to, we have to find the total distance traveled. And we know that the particles reverse its direction at, at these two values. So we have to find the particle positions at t1 equals to 1.298, t2 equals to this. And we know that s is at t equals to 0. Let me write that at t equals to 0, s is equal to 1 meters. This is given. And we have to find s values at t1 equals to 1.298. So now I, I have to put uh, t1 
t1 value in this equation so this will be s will be equal to t1 value is 1.298 to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 9 divided by 2 1.298 square plus 10 into 1.298 and plus 1 so this will give us So this gives us 7.127 so it is approximately we can say that s at 1.298 second is equal to 7.127 or we can say that this is 7.13 meters now again if i put s uh, t equals to the t2 value which is uh, which is 7.702 so s at t equals to 7.702 will be equal to again we have to put that t value in this equation so this gives us minus 36.63 so this is minus minus 36.63 meters now s of 0 is equal to 1 meter so s of 9 is s of 9 is minus 30.5 meter so to find the total distance traveled we have to we have to draw the position of the particle at various t values right so let's say that this is my straight line the particle is moving along the straight line and let's say that uh, somewhere here is the starting point let's say at this particular point s is equal to 0 and and somewhere here is let's say 1 meters so uh, the particle is at 1 meter when t equals to 0 so this is at t equals to 0 the particle is initially here and then when t equals to 1.298 the particle is at 7.13 so let's say that somewhere here is 7.13 meters this is at t equals to 1.298 so this means that the particle traveled towards the right and then as we know that at t equals to 1.298 the particle reverses its direction since the velocity equals to zero at this particular time so this means that the particle then moves towards the left and then when t equals to 7.702 the particle is at minus 36.63 so let's say that somewhere it is minus 36.63 from from this reference point so this is at t this is meters and this is at t equals to 7.702 so now the particle travels this distance and then here the velocity becomes zero so it reverses its direction and then at t equals to 9 second the particle is at minus 30.5 so somewhere here is minus 30.5 uh, meters and t equals to 9 seconds so now the particle reaches somewhere here so now from this we can find the total distance travel which is the point b solution so the s total will be equal to now now first of all we have to find this distance this distance is let's say this distance so this distance is 7.13 this 7.13 minus this so 7.13 minus 1 meters is uh, 6.13 so 6.13 plus plus this distance so now this distance will be uh, we can find this distance by subtracting the final value at this particular instant the final value is at this particular instant the final value is minus 36.63 and this is the initial value that is 7.13 so we can write that minus we can take the absolute value this is the distance traveled so minus 36.63 minus 7.13 and then further it travels this distance this distance right so this distance will be again the final value the absolute the difference of the final value the final value is minus 
30.5 minus minus 36.63 and its absolute value let me find that minus 36.63 minus 7.13 this gives us minus 43 point and its absolute value will be positive so we can write that that s total will be equal to 6.13 plus 43.76 and then that is minus 30.5 minus into minus 36.63 this gives us plus 6.13 so its absolute value is also positive this is plus 6.13 so now this is equal to now 6.13 plus 43.76 plus 6.13 so this is equal to 56.02 meters so from t equals to 0 until t equals to 9 seconds the particle travels a distance a total distance of 56.02 meters and the position of the particle from the reference at t equals to 9 seconds is this this is minus 30.5 and the velocity at t equals to 9 seconds is this this is 10 meter per second so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning